Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about show product attributes on product details page. So let's see how can we show product attributes on product details page. You can see here this is the product details page and here before this quantity, uh, let's show here the product attribute. Okay, so for that switch to the project and first of all let's open the product attribute model so just go inside the app directory then models and from here let's open this one product attribute model okay and inside this model let's create a function for attribute values okay so right here public function and function name attribute values okay and inside this just to return here dollar this arrow has many attribute value colon colon class okay and now save this file and now let's open the attribute value dot php model okay this model and inside this model let's create a function uh, for product attributes so right here public function and function name product attribute and here just to return dollar this arrow belongs to model name product attribute product attribute and this one okay column column class and add here the column name product underscore attribute underscore id okay now save this file now let's open the details component uh, view file so just go inside the resources directory resources directory then views live wire and from here let's open this one details task component or blade php file and inside this file uh, let's show here before the quantity so you can see here this is the quantity and here is the availability okay so uh, before this let's add here a div and now just add here the for each directive for each and uh, right here dollar product arrow attribute values this one uh, product model this one okay attribute values as dollar attribute value so just write here av and inside this for each just add here the row and uh, add here the style the style margin margin top 20 pixel okay and inside this row first add here a column column xs dash 2 and just to display here the attribute name product attribute name so just write here double curly bracket and dollar av dash uh, av arrow product attribute product attribute arrow name okay and after this add here then another column column dash xs dash 10 and uh, here just add here the select control select class form dash control All right, and also set here the width style width 200 pixel okay now just close this select and inside this select control just add here the for each directive for each dollar av arrow product product attribute uh, product attribute arrow attribute values okay attribute values 
and also here the where condition where product id product underscore id is equal to dollar product id okay dollar product id and uh, then as just uh, add here the product attribute value okay pap now inside the for each just add here the option and value is equal to curly bracket and then just display here the uh, product attribute value id okay so write it pav arrow id and inside the option just to display here then uh, value here okay attribute value so right here in double curly bracket dollar pav arrow value all right now here uh, inside the quantitative quantitative just add here this style margin top 10 pixel okay for giving some space now uh, save this file and uh, now it's done so let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page there is no any attribute so let's check another product so just go to the shop page and order with newness sort by newness and uh, let's check here this product so just click uh, let's open uh, this product in new tab so just click with controls and here uh, here is the one mistake it's showing the multiple time this attribute name color 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 so let's check code so just uh, go to the project and inside the details page uh, here inside this for each just add here the unique key okay unique unique and inside this just add here the column name product underscore attribute underscore id okay and now save this file and let's check again so switch to the browser and refresh the page okay now you can see here this is the color attribute and these are the values okay red green black blue and pink and here is the size attribute and these are the size value okay now let's check the another product so just open this one in new tab so click control plus click and here is the color pink red blue and this is the size okay and if i check another product and uh, inside this product there is no any attribute so it's no not showing this uh, the attributes okay so in this way you can uh, show product attributes on product details page so thanks uh, so that's all about so product attributes on product details page so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching